frankly, I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do. You're gonna have to decide one way or the shut other. Shut up! Okay, Julia, shut the hell up! Enough. Kendall's upset. Why is that? Uh, why don't you ask Kendall yourself? Kendall's right here. She's upset because of you, isn't she? I'm pregnant, not an invalid. I can speak for myself. I came here to help. My approach was off. I apologize. I'm here. Good. It was you I came to speak to, actually. Fine. Take him. Do whatever you want with him. It's yours. It'll only take a minute. Will you wait? What, I'm your poodle now? You tell me to stay, so I stay? Thank you. Well, your, your assistant wasn't going to let me in, but I brought my hall pass. The divorce papers. Signed and ready to make it official. I, uh, you could feel free to pop open the champagne when I leave. I would love to join you, but I'm sure Julia would knock the glass out of my hand. <clears throat> okay. Bye. I asked you to stay and meant that. Why? Because I'm so much fun to be around? Well, beware, Mr. Privacy, because they're about to pave a road straight through your office right up to my face, so everyone can stand in line sharing their god-awful opinions with me. When did you start listening to other people? Well, when people are yelling and screaming in your ear, calling you a baby-stealing slut and a friend-betraying jerk, it's kind of hard not to hear them. Oh, and this is just the warm-up. Now I've got to worry about David and Jack and what they're going to say. Tell me what to do about the pregnancy. Tell me how horrible I am and that I should rot in hell. And... Vibrating. It's my mother. This is the 18th time today she has called me up. When I was on trial for murder with a fake pregnancy, that was better than this. I'm telling you, if one more person calls me today and bugs me... Say the word. What? Say the word and I'll make it all go away. We still give you peace. No friends, no family, no strangers either. Okay, if you want to lock me in a closet, that would be nice. No, come and go as you please. What do I click my heels together three times or do you whip out your magic wand? <laughs> no. Lawns are old school. It's later. Yeah, I have a first class ticket to the islands. Right, I need another one. Kendall Hart Slater. White sands, balmy breezes, and virgin coladas. Very tempting. But what would your wife say? I don't know. What will my wife say? The divorce of my dreams. Take me away. Okay, so what is the real reason you wanted to turn our divorce into a holiday? Why well, can't you just lie back and enjoy yourself? I really don't know if my body is capable of relaxation right now. I thought it'd be fun to celebrate our escape from the bonds of love. Thank you for the get-out-of-jail-free card. Hmm. My pleasure. <sighs> what, are you worried? I always like to have an escape route. That's a good strategy. Yeah, I think someone actually told that to me once. I think it was you. Was it you? <laughs> Let me guess. Newlyweds? Yeah, uh, something like that. Champagne, orange juice, you have something to celebrate. Okay, I'll have orange juice, thanks. Mm -hmm. Me too. Enjoy your flight. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right, well, here's to the best divorce ever. Uh, I can't. I, I gotta get off this plane. This Where are you going? Really what for? I, this is the weirdest divorce. I've. I, I don't get this. It was the weirdest marriage. So, what's to get? I mean, we we tried to avoid romance. We didn't. Be no fuss on the way out the door. 
I guess. I just... I just got used to having you around, that's all. Me too. Well, you can always come by the casino and count the money. I trust you. Yeah? Hmm? Well, I'll be right across the courtyard anyway if you need me. But do me a favor, if you do get off this plane, don't stay in Pine Valley. Go anywhere, because here they're just going to ask you stupid questions about the baby and how you're going to run fusion with babe. I don't know what else. Yeah, I guess, I guess when you put it that way, I guess you're right. You know what I'll do? When we get back here, I'll talk to babe. I'll convince her to sell her shares of fusion to us, to you. It's my uh, divorce present. Thank you. Welcome. Isn't it funny? Even engaged to be divorced, we're still the perfect mom couple. Hey, for heaven's sake. What do you think you're doing? Hey. Oh, I was sleeping. What are you, what are you doing on this plane? I'm flying it. I mean, somewhere between here and divorce. I'm going to get you two together. No, Kendall and I are happily divorcing. Well, honey, if you are happy, you don't look it when you're staring at her all the time and she's not looking at you. I don't do that. Oh, yes, you do. Maybe a little bit, but no. Yes, well, there you are. Look, look, why, why don't you fly this relationship in the proper direction? All you have to do is put your arms around the girl and tell her you love her. She doesn't love me. She asked for this divorce. Oh. She doesn't need me. Oh, heck with that. She's smart enough to know that she'd be better off without me. Darling, if you think she's smart enough, then what's she doing in this plane with you? You know what she doesn't need? Someone else to tell her how to feel. Not me and not you. Ooh. No, nah, she doesn't want to deal with me. i got to take a word for it. I'm not going to fight her. I'm going to leave her alone. Keep telling yourself that, darling. Between here and divorce, I'm going to get you two together. Would you like one? No, thank you. No, thank you. Did you ever think... Never mind. What? Nothing. I missed you. I missed you. Is my beautiful wife ready to have dinner with me? I am ready to go anywhere with you. I love you. I love you. I'm so glad we made this marriage real. You make me so happy. What is it? You want to say something? I'm not sure. You can tell me. Do you really want this divorce? Do you? Yes, I do. Where is everyone? I threw them all out of the plane. I'm gonna make this work. So I love you too much to let you go. I'm not gonna give up on you. Doesn't matter how much you push me. Thank you.